Hi guys, Freddy here, welcome back. And this week I've got another oddity from my collection. And it's not really role-playing connected, but it is connected to the video I did on Monday, the Babylon 5 role-playing game. Because this time I would like to present the official guide to Babylon 5. It's another CD that I found while I was going through an old collection. I was checking out old CDs, because who keeps them anymore? But I found this and I wondered what the hell was on it, because I have no memory at all of this. And I've had a wee peek and it's not that good. So we're not going to spend absolutely ages on it, but I thought you might want to have a wee look. Anyway, over to the computer desktop. So this is the Babylon 5 interactive guide. No, no it's not. It's the official guide to Babylon 5. And this came out in 1997. And it's a heavily QuickTime based encyclopedia, I suppose. There's some background information and the short clips of videos. And... Although, at the moment, you see it as a small box in the centre of the screen, we'll expand it in a second so you can see it, but that's how it's appearing on my laptop screen. Because this is bound to like a 640x480 resolution. And as you can see, the videos are tiny even within that. So, these really are postage stamp size. So if you wanted to see these videos, you would be far better off just going on the internet now. But anyway, let's click on through. And we are taken to the Tourism Bureau where we have, I don't know, a criminal, a Babylon 5 security guide, and they're one of the game, named after Neil Gaiman. Now, you select one of these. Let's just go with the Hello, uh, I'm security guy. guy. And we click through to go to the station, or through to the information. And we have various categories here. So let's work around them as a clock. Let's start at the top with Apux Weapons. And you can see there's various weapons here. Now, when we select one, we get a little the name of it, and then we get a play button. And we get a tiny little video of the weapon in use. A clip from an episode. But that's the size of it. It's tiny on the screen. It really is postage stamp size. Because they're trying to fit all this video onto one CD. So if I click stop. And let's select another weapon, the Tromo PPG Rifle. And we click on that, no video available. And that's kind of the way you go through it. So, some of the items, a Centauri Sword. We get a little clip of video. The other things, when we click on them, we get the name and nothing else. It's like it's almost incomplete. Anyway, let's go back to the main section again. We have Governments. Click on that, and it grinds as it loads it in, and we can see the various governments. So we've got the Interstellar Alliance, the Mimbari Federation, the Pak Mara. So let's go into the Mimbari. And it loads in. Homeworld Mimbar, colonies, none of importance. Alliances, Interstellar Alliance, non regime uh, enemies of the Drak. Status very powerful. And we've got a section of text on here. And um, if we scroll down, it gives us quite a bit of background information. We click on play. And we get a clip of video showing the Mimbari homeworld. Now, the videos don't have any play bars, so we don't know how long they last for, but they're not going to last long. These are very, very short. It must be difficult for you to feel so powerless. So we go back, let's go back to the main. Were there any other governments worth looking at? Um, let's have a look at the Narn. I always like those. Now it's loading everything off CD so it does grind a bit. And we have a bit of waiting. Now I find it remarkable that the Narn regime should have all these colonies listed for it when the Mimbari didn't. When the Mimbaris are much larger. Um, uh, government. We hit play. Colsack hack attack. I'm not quite sure what that's saying it there for. We got a very small video showing the wrecked Narn homeworld. Places to go. So we could guide to the station. Um, 
Let's have a look at the council chamber. I got a view of the council chamber, but no video this time. Immigration? Yep, these are all just pictures. No text, no description, just an image of each. Okay, so let's go back. Now this is the worst section as far as I'm concerned, the emergency. Because basically all it does is play you various emergency sirens. Okay, now I've bust your eardrums, let's click out of that, because that's just useless. We've got the ship section. Click on that, and wait for it to grind the CD-ROM. And we've got various starships here. I've always liked the paint job on the Narn Cruiser, so let's click on it and see what we see. Hive Master Virchaz's Ships of Space. The Jaquan class Heavy Cruiser. X-ray laser, particle beams, energy mines, two heavy laser cannons. Quite a bit of interesting background information there, size of the crew and all that. I'm gonna click on it. Oh yeah, a nice little section of video. But ever so tiny. Let's go back. Any other ships? We've got the jump gates, the earth cruisers, centauri ones. Um, let's click on one at random. The Vree flying saucer, what is this? A Zill cruiser. Fast and powerful ship becoming more more common sight as the Vree expand their influence. 320 crew with 100, uh, 1,500 in prior drop frames. And some scenes from later on in the show. We've got the directory. Where we've got various uh, members of the cast. So, Lita Alexander. Give you a wee bit of background information on there. And if I click play, will it start playing? Eventually. Yep. Got a section of video showing her arrival on Babylon 5, and we'll get some various other clips of her. We're back. Oh, sadly, so many of these people have passed away Garibaldi, Franklin, Via, Jakar. Just so many. And now Delenn's gone as well. Oh, this is just now making me sad now. Marcus Cole, the Ranger, who got added late to the show. Ranger Cole was injured in a medical accident, currently in cryonic suspension. All right. In your next supply run, I want you to make a quick side trip through. I thought he was a pretty decent addition myself. I really quite liked him. Now, does the bad come in the middle doing a thing? We get a malfunctioning Babcom unit. And that's kind of all there is. We can choose a different guide, but that seems to make no difference whatsoever. And um, we get the clips of video. Now, there were two discs in this set. The second disc is a music disc, which has various interviews on it as well, in equally postage stamp size. But the last thing on it was a trailer for the Babylon 5 video game, a Starfighter game, which never came out from Sierra Online. So, let's roll that and see a game that never appeared. Well, mainly it's just clips from the show. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching, as always. Please like, subscribe, and comment below, as it does me massive favours with the YouTube algorithm. But as always, most of all, you look after yourselves, and I'll catch you later. Bye now.